Within the next month, these school library tables and chairs, they're gonna be replaced by kids in the hallway, students and staff. But kids, not only gonna meet new teachers, but getting a new tool to keep them safe with the touch of a button. During the school year, Buckeye Local Schools Resource Officer Mike Rose patrols the halls of four schools in Ashtabula County. A teacher might send, send a student down. You might hear about it through the word of mouth. To speed up response time, the district now adding to its school safety plan a Wi-Fi alert system teachers and staff can use by pressing a panic button. Can you enter the code? Buckeye Local Schools Superintendent Patrick Colucci learns how it works. You can name your panic button. Pressing the button once, alerts staff about problems, students, or medical emergencies. Hitting twice, notifies police and first responders. The school is on lockdown and facing an emergency situation like an active shooter. We'll be able to press a panic button and within four seconds notify authorities. Security is top of mind in this community after a deadly high school shooting in nearby Chardon several years ago. When you have something like that so close to home hit, uh, obviously, our community, our parents are aware. I want them to have complete control to push of a button. Brian Hess, owner of Tattletail Portable Alarm Systems in Columbus, created the mobile protection that keeps schools safe 24 hours a day, even when they're closed. Put the bad guys, if there is going to be one, on notice that if you come here, we're ready for you. Within seconds, we're going to bust you out and we're going to act. Our cameras were there when the switch was flipped. We're going to plug in and we will be live. For the first time, this system links resource officers and administrators through walkie-talkies. Buckeye Local Schools using matching state grants to pay for the protection. Tattletail using profits from other products to give districts a 10% discount. An investment Buckeye Local hopes will give parents peace of mind. We don't ever want to have to hit that button. We're glad it's there if you do. But we're glad it's here. In Ashtabula County, Steve Levine, ABC6 News.